health care reform is a hot topic right now with the new law less than a week old. The law, would requ the law requires health care insurance for nearly all Americans. And this morning we are joined by Dr. Jeff Thompson, Gunderson Lutheran CEO, to talk more about how health care reform will affect us locally. Good morning. How hi, will Julie. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> uh, just start off by telling me how will the reform affect costs at a local level for the patients? Will they go up, stay the same? What are we expecting? I think it'll depend on, on the patient and what your current situation is. Costs um, can, can vary a great deal uh, among patients, what your co-pays are and, and what uh, your add-on costs are as you go through it. But the, the bill mostly focused on insurance changes. So some many people who had no insurance or, or possibly were in a, a position where they could lose their insurance if they changed a job or d developed a chronic condition, those, those people will have their security and their costs decreased by this bill. And Dr. Thompson, what are you most excited to, to see in this uh, health care law? I, I think the fact that we had the courage to take it on and really start trying to address some of the important issues. We didn't get nearly as far as we need to go we, we did get insurance reform, and, and something that was very good that didn't get much play is that uh, many of the uh, representatives uh, from the upper Midwest, uh, congressmen and senators um, from Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota, helped put a group together that starts the process moving towards paying for value, that is paying for outcomes rather than just quantity. One of the problems with the bill is that there is there is great deal increase on access but the cost of health care broadly um, are, are just going to keep going up so what we need to do is pay for outcomes not just procedures and that that will help um, our region and the country hold down the overall costs so you had you had just touched on some of your concerns there uh, is there any one particular thing that you see as a big challenge Yes, I, th I think the, the biggest challenge will be to, to move from a system where, where we pay for just visits to paying for keeping the population healthy. And although it isn't healthcare delivery system's responsibility only to keep the population healthy, it is important that, that healthcare delivery and employers, the government, and the population all say ultimately our job is to keep everyone as healthy as possible, not just treat them when they're sick. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. I want to thank you, and we appreciate you being with us this morning. You're welcome. Take care.